Well, today's question is my vitamin D is in the twenties. What does this mean for my fertility? Hey there, welcome to Ask the Fertility Experts, a daily Q&A show where we'll be answering your fertility questions. I'm Sarah Clark, founder of Fab Fertile. We specialize in low AMH, high FSH, diminished ovarian reserve, and premature ovarian insufficiency or failure. I will be joined by Dr. Tabitha Barber. She is triple board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, menopause, and functional medicine. If you have a question, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, leave me a DM and drop your question there. And we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram. Take care. Well, today's question is my vitamin D is in the twenties. What does this mean for my fertility? This is an interesting one. We, we regularly see um, couples that we coach that with low vitamin D being yeah in the teens, in the the twenties, and then even if it's in at thirty, being told it's normal, and um, and then given you know supplementation for vitamin D, but no one's looking at the root cause of well why is it low in the first place? So how would vitamin D, which is actually a hormone, um, impact your fertility? Yeah, so vitamin D is a pro hormone, and it's needed for multiple processes throughout the body, and it has a lot to do with egg quality, with the development of your hormones, and particularly with your immune system. And so if you don't have a supple immune system that can fight off viruses and bacteria, you're going to have inflammation in your pelvis and particularly around the ovary in the uterus. So vitamin D is vital for so many things. And unfortunately, because of the world that we live in now where we aren't outdoors as much as we were, and now we wear sunscreen all of the time, and now we don't eat fatty fish and healthy fats the way we used to, you know, we're just not getting the vitamin D in that we should. So almost everyone that I see requires supplementation at this point in history. It's really kind of sad, but that's the truth of the matter. And if you're like me, I have a vitamin D mutation in one of my genes where I have difficulty making vitamin D in the sun. So even though I can tan and be outside, I'm not making the vitamin D just because of my genetic mutation. So I have to take extra. So I would encourage women to get that level up there. I want it like 60 to 80, to even higher than that, because that is where you're going to see your system really be able to flourish and do what it needs to do. Yeah. And you want to take a vitamin um, D3 and K2 helps the, the, the K2 helps it be more absorbable. And then really when you're taking, when you're supplementing, making sure that you're, you're testing regularly too, because many times people are just supplementing and then wait a minute, the, 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 the limit may be, you know, too high or, you, you know, it's not, not being optimal. What's your take on that? Yeah, I think because it's a fat soluble vitamin, some women will absorb it better than others. You know, when you have gut dysbiosis, oftentimes you're not absorbing even what you're taking. So women will be spending all this money on supplements and think it's doing good and oh my D must be fine and they never check it. You know, they come to see me or you and we finally check it and it's like 30 and it's because they're not absorbing what they're taking or it's not a good quality supplement. Um, so I really can't stress it enough. Like you need to get tested. Thanks so much for being here. If you've got a question that you want answered, simply go to fab fertile Inc on Instagram, send me a DM and we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's fab fertile Inc and send me a DM and please refer to our disclaimer below. Take care.